Hey there, my name is Brittany Bryden. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. If you do enjoy this video, please like it, share it with a friend or family member that might enjoy it as well, and subscribe to my channel to know when new classes are posted. This will be a 15 minute sequence for beginners with very little weight on the hands. I highly suggest you grab a couple of blocks for this class. If you don't have blocks, don't worry, you can still do this practice. Um, the other thing I do recommend having is something to pad up for your knee when we come into lunges. If you don't have any kind of a towel or anything, then you can just fold up your mat to give that padding for your knee. This will be a nice one for the hips. You can do any time of day. So let's get going. Grab your two mat blocks and let's come to the top of the mat. From near the front of the mat, I want you to bend your knees a lot. Hinging from the hips, you're gonna fold forwards and set the blocks down on the floor just in front of the feet. So the shoulders are tracking right above the blocks. Again, keep the knees bent. Don't force them straight here. And then as you root your feet down to the floor, start to fold in towards your legs. You're just gonna relax the head, relax the neck. And you might have to adjust the blocks here. So maybe you take them on the middle height, maybe a little bit lower. You're gonna start to add a sway through the body. So just rocking a little side to side. Let go of any tension you're naturally carrying in the neck and the shoulders. And now adjust your blocks back to the highest height. Bring your fingertips onto the blocks. So as the fingertips come to the blocks, I want you to lift your chest up halfway. So send the crown of the head forwards, keep the knees bent, find axial extension. So really lengthening through the spine and then flexion through the spine. So keep the knees bent and fold into the legs. We'll do that a couple more times. So fingertips onto the blocks, lift the chest up halfway, lengthen, and then fold down into the legs. One more time, fingertips on the blocks, halfway lift, and then bend your knees and take a big step back with your right leg. So you might have to wiggle it back a little bit. Bring your blocks now to frame your left foot. So your feet are on separate tracks. Take your right knee to the floor. You can also pad up your knee by using a towel here. You can fold up your mat to give your knee some padding. Just adjust until it feels good. And then bring your fingertips onto the blocks. So from here, I just want you to lift the chest up and feel like you're broadening through the collarbones here. You're gonna shift the hips back now. Draw the left toes back towards the face. So you do not need to fully straighten that leg. So bend it as much as you need here. Try to draw that left hip back. And then bend in the front leg, lift the chest up. And then half split, shift the hips back. So you're just gonna rock forwards and backwards just following your pace. Noticing how this movement feels today in the hips, the hamstrings, calf, foot. And then next time you shift the hips back for that half split pause there. So keep drawing the toes back to the face. And I want you to notice if you're swaying your hips over to the right. So try to level out the pelvis. And then bend into the front leg. Now you're gonna place your blocks on the lowest height. Blocks are still framing the left foot. And then hands come on the blocks, tuck your right toes under and pick up your back knee. So put power in that right leg, bring that right heel right above the toes. And then feel like you're dragging that left foot to the back foot. So find that hug in towards center. If the blocks are too low, you can adjust them a little bit higher. But now I want you to reach your left arm up towards the ceiling for an easy twist. So really find that rotation through the spine, reach that left arm up and then set your hand down on the block. Adjust your blocks to the highest height. Take them forward towards the front of the mat, bend your back knee, push off the back foot, step to the top of the mat. Feet hip distance apart. Lift the chest up halfway, lengthen, and then fold into your legs. Lift the chest halfway, bend your knees. Take a step back with your left leg now. Adjust your blocks to frame your right foot. Pad up the left knee if you need, set the knee on the ground. Chest lifts, and then half split. Hips go back, flex the right foot. Rocking forwards and backwards at your pace with your breath. How does that feel on this side? 
It might feel completely different. When you do the half split, stay there. Notice if you're taking all the way over to the left side. Bend into the front leg. Bring those blocks down to the lowest height, framing the right foot. Hands on the blocks, tuck the left toes under, pick up that back knee. Bring the left heel right over top of the toes, draw that right heel back. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling, open the chest to the right. So really reach the fingers up. And then set your right hand down onto the block. Adjust your blocks to the highest height again. Place them towards the top of the mat. Bend your back knee, step forwards, top of the mat. Feet hip distance apart, lift up halfway. And then fold into your legs. Now I want you to bend your knees, root down through your heels, and start to lower your hips. Bring your hands together in prayer and find a little space between the torso and the thighs. So make sure you're not sitting in the hips. Can you actually fire up your posterior chain in this shape? So lower the hips down a little bit more. Notice if you're taking all the weight forward. Can you root down a little bit more through the heels? Take one more breath here. And then fold hands to the blocks. Lift up halfway, and then bend the knees, place the blocks on the lowest height, hands on the blocks, and I want you to step back into a plank. We're just here temporary, temporarily. <laughs> Set your knees down onto the ground. Take the chest of the gate of the shoulders and the table and up as you take an inhale, and then exhale, round to the spine and push away from the floor. Cat cow, inhale, chest forwards, tailbone up, and then exhale, round. One more time, inhale. And then exhale around. And then find your way into a neutral spine. Now I want you to bring your left knee more towards the midline and just step your right foot to the outside of the right block. So you might have to reach back for the foot and help bring it forwards. Tuck your left toes under just so you can pick up the knee and slide the knee back a bit. So you can keep the blocks on the lowest height or you can adjust them higher if you need. But actively press that right foot into the floor. And I want you to notice that that right knee is winging out to the side. See if you can really draw it into the center. And you can stay where you are. Maybe you come down onto your forearms. Whatever feels good on the hips here in the moment. Paying attention to your mind. The thoughts that come up in those times of silence. All right, so I now want you to pick up the block that's to the inside of the right foot so you have room here. You're gonna walk your right foot over the left and I want you to take that block and place it underneath your right thigh. So move the blocks out of the way, walk the right foot to the left side and then lower down onto the outer right thigh. So that right outer right thigh is resting on the block. <laughs> okay, now, the other block, I'm gonna, I want you to place it on the highest, middle, or lowest height, whatever variation works for you. You can have that left knee more in line with the hip here as you turn the chest to the front, or you can start to open up the hips a bit more to the left, like you're sending that left knee to the back of the mat. Flexing the right foot, and then you can stay lifted, or you can start to fold in towards that right leg. So what I like to do here as well is I like to Find a little work in the shape. So I want you to envision, well, what I like to envision is that I'm actively pressing the outer edge of that right foot into the floor. This is a great opportunity to close your eyes. When we're practicing at home, it's real easy to get distracted by our external environments. So when you feel yourself looking around, maybe getting distracted by your phone, noises, sounds, remember that you blocked this time off for yourself. So try to stay with me. A few more breaths here. Let 
lift yourself up. And there's really no graceful way of coming out of this. We're eventually gonna meet in that table with the two blocks, just like we started. So however is easiest for you, come back into that table, blocks underneath the hands. Just move through a couple rounds of cat cow. I'm not gonna cue you through it, because I just want you to move on your own. One more time. And then bring yourself into neutral. Slide your right knee more towards center and step your left foot outside of the left block. Tuck your right toes under, pick up that knee, take it back a bit, pat it up if you need. Hands on the blocks or maybe your forearms. Hug the left thigh in. Sense your breath. Witness when we come into these hip openers, any kind of reaction you have to it. And we'll make our way into that pigeon variation. So move the blocks out of the way. Walk your left foot over to the right side. Take that one block, place it on the lowest height so you can rest the outer left thigh on that block. Place the other block out in front of you. The left knee in line with the hip for this variation. Back knee bent. Turn the chest towards the front. I like to actively press the outer edge of that left foot onto the floor. And you can stay lifted or you're gonna start to fold into the leg. Soften or close the eyes. A few more breaths here. And lift yourself up. Place those props off to the side. And then take the legs out in front of you. Give them a good shake. Bend your right knee. Bring your right knee in your chest. And step your right foot to the outside of that left leg. Your right hand is going to come on the floor behind you. Find your way on your fingertips. Left arm is going to reach up. Lift up tall, then take your left arm outside of the right leg. Keep that length and then find that rotation. Look back over top of the right shoulder. And come back to center. Right leg forward. Step your left foot outside of the right thigh. Left hand behind you. Right arm is going to reach up. And then twist towards the left, take that right arm outside of the leg, lengthen, and then twist. And bring yourself back to center. So we're going to do one more here, so we're going to come down onto our backs. So I want you to take your blocks with you, feet together, knees fall open, slide the blocks at any height to support the legs. Slide the shoulder blade slightly underneath the back. Take one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly, and close the eyes. With your hands resting on the body, I want you to make that connection of how you're feeling. Feeling the breath moving in and out of the body. Relax through the jaw. In the space in between the eyebrows, the third eye there.
the sh shape feels amazing. And stay here if you prefer to close off. If your legs are at, um, in front of you in Shavasana or a seated meditation, I just encourage you to find a shape that you can really relax into. To create space between now and the rest of your day. Using your breath as your guide into your meditative state. Thank you so much for joining me today. Always be humble, be kind. Thank you and namaste.